Now, Europe has lost about one quarter of its bird population in the last 40 years. The trend is well documented, but a new study from the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science brings a new understanding to why that is the case. And intensive farming seems to be the key reason for the disappearance of birds more than global warming or urbanisation. Shirley Sipbon joins us from the science desk. Shirley, hello. hello. Why do scientists say intensive farming is the main reason? And do we also have precise figures on the number of birds that have been lost? Yes, uh, we do. Uh, they say it's uh, intensive farming because that's where most of the birds are dying. 57% uh, down in rural areas. And uh, maybe uh, France 24 viewers, regular viewers, will recognize some of the images because we've been talking about this uh, in Down to Earth very uh, often about those birds disappearing. Well, now with this study, we have specific figures. In 40 years, we lost 800 million birds. That have, that's about 20 million per year. And this is basically due to uh, the loss of biodiversity, due to mass farming, intensive farming with all the pesticides and fertilizers, very few trees. And birds needs, uh, in, need insects to live, especially young birds. That's the, their diet. Uh, and when those disappear, well, basically the birds end up disappearing as well. It's not uh, the only only reason there are also uh, there's a number of factors uh, also in uh, urban uh, urban areas uh, there's also been a decline of more than 28 uh, percent because there's not as much green areas not as many green areas uh, and uh, the food is of low quality for birds not much biodiversity so the situation is complicated uh, and also there's also the forest areas there are less forests so also there's a decline over there I mean, that's an extraordinary figure when you think about it. 25% of the bird population on this continent has lost, but not all species react in the same way, do they, Shirley? I mean, some have disappeared or are endangered. Others, however, are still safe. So what makes the difference? Well, it depends on the areas where they live. And also, well, apparently smaller birds can uh, can beat back the heat, can survive uh, with little water and uh, growing temperatures. Uh, so we've seen them surviving better. There are also birds who come from the warmer areas, like the Mediterranean, for example. Well, they survive better. The ones in northern Europe, the ones used to cold air and to cold temperatures, well, they've been uh, dying massively. Uh, the numbers are really different from one to another. Another minus 40% for northern birds and minus 18% for the ones who are used to uh, warmer temperatures. But still, it's a massive decline all over uh, the place. That's something that they've noticed throughout the years. Now, there are solutions to protect birds, but not all of them are ready to be put into place. Can you give us some examples of what scientists say need to be done? Well, it all comes down to what we've been saying, to beating back the factors that cause this problem. Of course, this, uh, there's urbanization, there's uh, changing farming to you know, the traditional farming, using less chemicals, less pesticides, less fertilizers. Of course, residents in big cities and across Europe, uh, they've been getting used to uh, having bird, bird houses and, you know, giving organic food, uh, organic grains to birds and uh, insects. But that's just uh, not enough to, to preserve the populations of birds across Europe. That's not going to bring them back. And we've been uh, also seeing something in the Netherlands uh, yeah, over the weekend. They've actually stopped wind turbines, offshore wind turbines, to protect birds coming into Europe and they're extremely proud of this. This may be a new trend because sometimes they come with in large groups and we know this two days ahead so this can be planned out. Anyway, the goal was to protect those groups coming in and to, to save those birds from dying uh, in, with the turbines moving so fast. Uh, and of course the thing that we're watching for is really changing the agriculture but that's something that is global and it's going to be complicated for also political reasons and the use of uh, this intensive farming because there are so many needs in Europe but the mindset needs to change that what's that's what many people have been saying and it goes for birds as well to preserving them biodiversity in general and everyone in the end. Shirley Sipbon thank you for that.